Hey guys, Rachel CPR here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I'm going to show you how I made this super easy slouchy beanie that I wore in my fall protective styles video. Most of the things you'll probably have at home for it. All that you will need is a sweater to upcycle, a hat to use as your template, scissors, a ruler, pins or clips, and then the options that you'll use to put the hat together is a needle, sewing machine, or glue. Let's get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to decide on the part of your sweater that you are going to use for your hat. I am going to use the plain side of this sweater for my hat. So I am placing the sides together that are only plain without any of the leaves on it. That part of the sweater I'm using for another project. Then I take my template hat and I am going to place it on top of the area that I will be using for this hat. I am going to add a couple of inches to this cutout only because the hat that I'm using is very stretchy, but the sweater is not. So I have to accommodate for that by adding a couple of inches. I started off at two inches that I added, and then I work my way out to about three and a half to four inches around the top area to make it nice and baggy. But just choose a hat that you like the way it fits on your head and it feels very secure. And then you just add a couple of inches all the way around so that it's nice and baggy once you put it on your head. Once you have your hat cut out, it's just time to turn the hat inside out so that you can prepare the hat to be sewn. The side with the fold is the front of the hat. And so that is going to be without a seam at all. The only parts that you will sew are the sides that are open. Right now, I'm just taking the time to match all of the sides of my hat so that the design on my hat matches and it's not completely off. It's good to take the time out for that. Now it's time to put it together. You hand sew it, machine sew it, or you glue it. E6000 works great for this. Once you've put your hat together, you're just about done. All you have to do is trim off any excess thread if you used a sewing machine or a hand needle. And then you just want to flip your hat back on the right side and you just want to check to make sure that you do not have any holes. I had a little bit of an issue with the start of my hat and so I have to take a hand needle and sew it so that it matches a little bit better. But other than that, it was perfectly fine. Here, I'm just showing you how I checked to make sure that I didn't skip any stitches, which would leave a hole in the seam of my hat, which you definitely don't want. And that's it. This hat is done. Five minutes and under from cutting to being able to walk out the door with it on your head. This is great for on-the-go conditioning. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.